year, not many American entertainers created ventriloquist dummies, whose names are still remembered 50 years later, and created unforgettable voices for animated characters, and created an artificial heart. Paul Winchell did all that. The entertainer and inventor died Friday at his Southern California home. He started on radio as a teenager, recovering from a stammer and polio in the 30s. As a TV ventriloquist, he was on almost constantly from the late 40s to the late 60s, creating and voicing the likes of Jerry Mahoney and Knucklehead Smith. Then in 1968 came the chance to do the voice of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Winchell kept doing that voice, along with hundreds of others, until 1999. Less well-known of Paul Winchell, he held 30 patents. He invented a flameless cigarette lighter, an early version of a disposable razor, and in 1963, an artificial heart, later used in their research by Dr. Robert Jarvik and those who created the first artificial heart that would be implanted in a human in 1982. Paul Winchell, of many voices and of many talents, was 82 years old. Come on, let's do something dad, jazzy, huh? You ready? Yeah, let's groove it, Daddy. <laughs> I said good morning, Jerry. I said good morning. Oh, oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. What are you doing? I'm reading the morning paper. Do you mind? Yes, I mind. We're going to be late for the theater. Okay, I just want to read the headlines. Well, then hurry it up, will you? Woman in Chicago has triplets. Democrats blame Eisenhower. <laughs> Look, will you please put this paper down? and start eating your breakfast. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Pass the toast, please. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep the change. <laughs> Pass the butter, please. <laughs> Right on that plate. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> You're welcome. Pass the salt, please. Pass the salt, please. The salt, please. Yeah. Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara? What does that mean? I don't know. I read it in a Chinese fortune cookie. <laughs> Look, will you please stop this nonsense and just eat your eggs? Okay, okay, I will. I'm gonna use a little salt. Just a little salt right here. 
Uh, not, uh, not, 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 not too much. Oh, leave it to me. Just a little bit. Uh, you're using too much. No, no, I love... You're going to have too much. <laughs> you're right. I got too much. <laughs> Here, you eat them. Oh, no, I'm not going to eat them. Not sorry. You wanted salt? I warned you not to use so much salt on your eggs. I happen to be an expert on eggs. Well, you should be. You laid enough of them. <laughs> now, listen, wise guy. You wanted salt, you got salt. So eat those eggs. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Winch. Yeah? I think the toast is burning. Where? Right over there. No, the toast isn't burning. Oh, sorry, my mistake. All right, now eat your eggs. Uh, Jerry. Oh, yeah? Uh, would you pass me some of that salt, please? Oh, certainly, of course, right here. Here you are, here you are. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Dum, da, dum, dum. Uh, say, Lynch. Uh, yes, what is it? I think the water in the sink is running. Where? Right over there. No. <laughs> the water in the sink is not running. Oh, sorry, I thought it was. <laughs> you, uh... Uh, say, Jerry. Uh, yeah? Uh, is that window broken? Uh, what window? Uh, that one over there. Uh, no, it isn't at all. Oh, I'm sorry. It was my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your eggs. A uh, sure thing. <laughs> How did this get over here again? <laughs> now, listen, wise guy. Those eggs you're eating are mine. You eat these eggs. I don't want them. I say you eat them. I don't want them. I say eat them. I don't want them. I said eat. <laughs> Winchell, I told you a million times you can't eat eggs with your hands. Now look, you, the less said about this, the better. Now you just get me a napkin and make it snappy. Oh, here, use yours. Right here. Here, just use it. Now wipe it good. I will. Come on, every bit of it. Okay, Lynch, I'll wipe the whole thing. I'll, I'll get the, I'll, I'll get the, uh... <laughs> so how's the family? Now look, you, I've had just about enough of this nonsense, you understand? Now, I've got to go and change my clothes, and we're going to be late for the theater. Now, you eat that breakfast. Here. You eat it and make it snappy. Do you hear me? <laughs> what did you say? I said, <laughs> Don't tell me you have the hiccups now. Well, I won't tell you, but I got them. <laughs> you got me so nervous <laughs> with the whole thing that now I, <laughs> I got the hiccups. Oh, great. And who knows what the cure for hiccups is? <laughs> well, we ain't got time to look it up in the book of knowledge. <laughs> Give me some water. All right, here's some water. Give me some, give me some. All right, come on, take a few drinks. A few sips. Ah. Uh, there, how do the hiccups feel now? Uh-oh. I got it twice as bad now. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Well, then wait a minute. There's only one thing to do. Telephone's ringing. All right, I can hear it. I can hear it. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Winkle? Yes, who's this? Oh, Knucklehead. Who? N who? <laughs> Knucklehead. Knucklehead? <laughs> Will you be quiet? I didn't say nothing yet. Yes. <laughs> Not you. I can't help it. <laughs> I was talking to Jerry. Uh, he has the hiccups. <laughs> Let me talk to him, Lynch. Did you say Jerry has the hiccups? Uh, that's right. <laughs> no, not now. <laughs> oh, his hiccups is all gone, huh? No, no, I'm still... To I wasn't talking to you. I'm still talking to Jerry. <laughs> Let me talk to him, Lynch. No, no, knucklehead, what do you want? <laughs> Let me talk to him. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Let me talk to him. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why not? Look, Knuck, will you call back later? But it's important. Well, can I just say <laughs> hello? Knuck, just say goodbye. I didn't say hello yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to him, will you? Goodbye, knucklehead. <laughs> that knucklehead always calls at the worst possible time. Now, let's get those hiccups of yours cured once and for all. You don't have to. They're gone. Gone? Yeah. They just stuck. No, that's fine. Well, then I could have talked to Knucklehead after all. Well, what did he want? Oh, I don't know. Nothing important, I guess. Now, look, just finish your breakfast once and for all before we're very, very late to the theater. And stop with this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I'll get a little sugar. Fine. And on the eggs, right here. Sugar on the eggs? Sure, to kill the taste of the salt. Oh, no. A little sugar in the milk? Sugar in the milk? It makes it taste like a malted. Oh, for goodness sakes. And now, uh, a little sugar on the toast? And, uh, no, 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 no. Will you please stop this nonsense? Gee whiz, Lynch. Don't get sore just because I like sugar. Well, why shouldn't I? Well, I'll tell you. Yeah? Listen. Well, sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar at supper time. Be my little sugar and love me all the time. Honey in the morning, honey in the evening, honey at supper time. Be my little honey and love me all the time. Put your arms around me and square my stars above. You'll be mine forever in a heaven of love. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar at supper time. Be my little sugar and love me all the time. teach you how to dance. What do you think, you're a better dancer than I am already? Why, certainly. Can you do this, Jeff? What? There. Try this one. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? I'm a pretty good dancer, kid. You are? Well, certainly I am. I can kick the back of my head. Really? Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, I've been doing it for years. That explains everything. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, let me see you do this step. Try this one. 